And for more on this, I spoke to analyst Brian Becker. I asked him if this order by the U.S. to close three Russian diplomatic facilities was tit for tat or something more. It is tit for tat. I think the, re the, the Russians, obviously, when, when Obama first announced the closures of Russian compounds and the, and the expulsion of Russian diplomats on short notice, uh, they could have been irate. They could have responded to what they might call a provocation, and they didn't. Well, they didn't because they thought Donald Trump coming in would ease uh, relations. There would be a thaw. They expected it. At least they wanted to give it a chance. Uh, now we see that Donald Trump is not going in that direction. How would you rate the relationship between the United States and Russia? Well, a year ago, the Russians said it couldn't get worse, but in fact, it's gotten worse. Uh, and we know that it can get worse and worse and worse because these are two major thermonuclear powers. There was the Cold War. Uh, in the United States, people were always taught to fear and hate Russians. It's part of the political DNA of the countries. Uh, in other words, Russia was a convenient enemy. And so I, I, I fear that what we've gone back into is a cycle of, uh, of tit for tat and also of confrontation. Each side climbs the escalation ladder. It's easy to climb that ladder. It's very hard to get off the ladder. Uh, somebody has to be able to say, stop, let's actually do a reset. You talk about that ladder, and you also talked about the State Department, and, and one senior administration official said the fundamental goal is to find ways to improve relations between our two countries. But, but this won't do that, will it? It won't do that. And the other thing is that the Pentagon, and I think the Pentagon is a, an independent factor here. We see the Trump cabinet, three generals. What are the generals doing? They're carrying out massive war exercises on Russia's border in uh, the Baltics and in Ukraine, perhaps, and in Poland, and erecting a missile defense shield. Uh, these can only be, be, be perceived in Russia as a grave threat to Russia's national interest. Russia will take countermeasures. Russia, the foreign ministry, released a statement. It read, Moscow will closely study the new measures announced by the Americans, after which our reaction will be conveyed. Talk to me about the different options available to them and, and what's likely. Well, I think the Russians are pursuing a prudent course. Uh, I think they believe that Donald Trump, the person, still would like to ease relations with Russia. Uh, they know that there are institutional powers in Washington and in, within the Washington foreign policy establishment that don't want better relations. Uh, they don't want to aggravate the situation. I think the Russians still do hope for an improvement in relations. When you talk about improvement in relations, you, you look at the United States and you look at hot spots around the world, and clearly uh, they have to cooperate with Russia in these spots. When you think about Syria, you think about the DPRK, of course, Russia was a part of the six party talks um, involved in, early on. Of course, those have gone away. It, now we've got Tillerson and Lavrov who are going to meet uh, on the sidelines of the UNGA. Can they come up with some kind of mechanism uh, or some way to kind of smooth things out? where these two major powers can actually be working on some of the uh, clear issues that are out there on the world stage. Uh, yes, Tillerson could set up a mechanism for enhanced dialogue, repeated communications with Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, his counterpart. I, I don't think any of the voices for detente, for rapprochement, or for lessening of tensions can really overcome the problem in Washington, which is a consensus position of animosity and hostility towards Russia. It's becoming an article of faith. In other words, that's what we see when witch hunts develop. You must be part of the anti-Russia lobby, or perhaps you're a witch.